Hey, this is Michael from DeVoe.com with another video tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a super slow motion effect with only images inside of After Effects. Now how awesome is that? Well, pretty awesome. Anyways, um, so in this example, I'm going to do a RAM preview, and you can see this is uh, approximately 11 images. After Effects is interpolating the motion between them. Now, a couple tips to keep in mind uh, when you're taking the images. Uh, you want to rotate around your subject, not uh, as if it were on a tripod. You want to rotate around your subject, so keep keep the the face or the flower or whatever subject you have in the same part of the frame as you're taking your pictures. Uh, you want your camera on multi-burst. I think the slowest you would probably want to go is, you know, three frames a second. I think the Canon 20D and, and up take at least three frames a second. Um, here in this example, I use the Canon 7D and that was eight frames a second. But you really can use slower frames a second if you keep your motion as subtle as possible. So then there's there's four things you need to keep in mind as you're shooting the pictures. Uh, you need to have uh, manual aperture, uh, manual shutter speed, manual focus, and manual white balance. The reason for this is because it will uh, give you the fastest shutter or the fastest multi-burst on your camera because the camera won't have to figure everything out so to speak. So you want to have basically everything manual on your camera set usually the lower resolution setting uh, so that resizing your photos won't be such a big process. I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial as far as resizing the photos but um, let's just get started so I'm going to go into actually I'm just gonna close this and go to file import file or you can just double click on your project panel and what I'm going to do is select these amazing hose pictures shift for all three and down here I'm gonna click JPEG sequence Make sure it's import as footage. Click open, and you should have this little thing with a collage icon. And so I'm going to create a new composition. We'll call this uh, pixel motion, and we'll make it uh, a minute long. Okay, now that we have that open, we're going to drag our JPEG sequence in, hold shift to snap it to the beginning. Zoom up with the scroll wheel and Alt. And what you're going to do is right click on the footage, go to Time, Enable Timer Mapping. If you can't see that, I'll do it again. Go up to Layer, Time, Time, Enable Timer Mapping. And so you can see these little keyframes here. Now, currently it's only three or four frames long. Now, let's say we want this clip to be three seconds long, a super slow motion <laughs> hose clip. Okay, so uh, we're going to have the ability now to drag this out. Okay, we got two seconds. We'll go to three seconds approximately. Now we're going to drag the second uh, time remapping keyframe and drag it about to the end. Now there's three images in this sequence. You can see there's one, two, three. Now we want to go to the first frame of the last image. So right 
there. You just page up and page down to go you know, in between frames and find only the first right there, the first frame of the last image. And then you're going to drag just this, the actual footage, hold shift and snap it to the, the cursor or the uh, timeline scrubber. And that's basically it. You want to leave these keyframes as they are. Uh, and you have your images all set with the last frame. Now click on frame blending. Make sure it's not uh, frame blend, but pixel motion with a forward slash. Click the master switch here. And then it will interpolate the motion in between. Uh, do a quick RAM preview. Okay, so once that's done, we've got super slow motion with only images. Thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful. Take a look at my other tutorials in the uh, Vimeo channel I've created. Thanks for watching and have fun.